Hey y'all, it's your girl Tashonda Renee. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm making Great Northern Beans. So if you would like to see how I do it, please stay tuned. All right, to get started, I'm going to add six cups of water to a large pot. I like to use smoked turkey to cook my beans. So I'm going to use two smoked turkey wings. I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of chicken flavored better than bouillon. Now, I've already picked and washed my beans, so I'm just going to go ahead and add them to the pot. And I'm going to bring that to a boil. Also, it's really not necessary to soak your beans, so I did not soak mine. I'm just going to go ahead and add them right to the pot. So I'm going to allow the beans to come to a boil and I'm going to boil them for about 30 minutes. I'm not going to season the beans until after those 30 minutes. Be sure to place a lid on top so that you don't lose all your liquid while the beans are boiling. After about 30 minutes, your beans should have swollen up and this is what they should look like. Now you're going to lower your heat. You want to cook your beans at about a medium heat, maybe even a medium low heat. Now you can just place the lid back on top, allow the beans to simmer for about another 30 minutes. Then you'll begin to season your beans. You should still have plenty of liquid in your pot. Um, so you're going to start seasoning the beans. You're going to use one to two bay leaves. You're going to use about a teaspoon of chili powder, about a teaspoon of ground cumin. You're going to use garlic powder and black pepper. We are going to use salt as well, but you don't want to use salt in beans until the beans are actually done. Um, anytime you use salt while the beans are cooking, it could cause the beans to split and you don't want a pot full of split beans. So it's best to use the salt once the beans are already done. Next, you're going to use one medium onion. Now, you can either dice the onion up and add it, or you can do like me. I just cut the onion in half and added it to the pot that way. Give the beans a good stir to combine your seasonings well, and then add your lid back on. And you're just going to allow the beans to simmer until they are tender to your liking. Typically, it takes great northern beans about two hours to cook. Um, if you like yours more tender, then go ahead and cook them a little longer. At this point, mine have been cooking for right at two hours. So now I'm just going to check to see if my meat is tender enough to pull it from the bone. And it is, so I'm going to go ahead and remove my turkey wings. I'm going to put them on a plate so that I can pull the meat from the bones. And then I'll go ahead and add the meat back to the pot. Also, now is a good time to taste your beans to be sure the seasonings don't need any adjusting. Also, you can go ahead and add your salt if you do need salt at this time. Your meat should be tender enough that it's just falling off the bone when you touch it. And um, pretty much that's what's happening here. And removing the meat from the bones and putting it back in the pot is totally optional. I know some people don't like the smoked meat um, throughout the pot of beans, but I personally do. I always eat cornbread with my beans, so... It just makes a nice meal to have the smoked turkey with the beans and the cornbread. So once you have your meat pulled from the bone and added to the pot, just go ahead and stir it all in. You're going to go ahead and cover the pot back up and 
let it simmer just for about 10 15 more minutes and then your beans are done be sure to remove the bay leaves before you serve the beans now if you prefer a creamier pot of beans you can smash some of the beans um to help i guess increase the creaminess that is just not the way i prefer mine i like to eat my beans with cornbread so i like mine to be just a little juicy so i can sop up that juice with the cornbread but this is how I make my great northern beans. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video, and I hope you'll give this recipe a try. If you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Also, if you're looking for a list of ingredients, check out the description box. I'll have everything listed down below. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.